What's the most environmentally friendly country? Well, depends on who you ask, and the answer might surprise you. Hey everyone, Julia here for D News. Here in the US, we like to think, uh, well, pretty highly of ourselves. We like to think we're the best at everything, especially on a day like Earth Day. But we can't seem to get it through our skulls that we aren't great at all the things, especially when it comes to the environment. So where does the US rank compared to the rest of the world? and who bested us in those rankings. According to the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development's Better Life Index, the top honor goes to Sweden. Other top countries include Australia, the United Kingdom, New Zealand, and Finland. Although this index only measures things like air pollution and water quality, the things that really affect a person on a daily basis. But according to Yale University's Environmental Performance Index, Switzerland takes the lead, followed by Luxembourg, Australia, Singapore, and the Czech Republic. The EPI is more comprehensive. It measures things like air pollution and water quality too, but it also takes into account less tangible things, like the health of the ecosystem, which includes protected habitat, fish stocks, and even energy use. So how did Switzerland get ahead? In recent years, the country has designated a lot of land as national parks, which earned it a top score for terrestrial protected areas. And it gets over half of its energy through hydroelectric power, the rest from nuclear. So it's got a very small carbon footprint. Luxembourg is a small country with only half a million people and 1,500 square miles. But its robust water and sanitation networks, plus protection of 17% of land habitats, earns it the number two spot. Australia comes in at number three with high marks in health impact and water quality. The land down under also boosts solid scores in both terrestrial and marine protected areas. Well, how about the US? Well, according to the EPI, the United States is number 33, just above Malta but below Belarus. While we excel at measures of health like air quality and sanitation, we suck, I mean, really, really suck at other measurements. The US performs very poorly in measurements of fisheries, with huge collapses of certain fish stocks, and the country still has some room to grow in terms of climate and energy use. I know, I know, most of you must be wondering, where is Costa Rica on this list? The small Central American country is well known for its ecotourism. According to the World Bank, over 20% of the land is designated as a protected area. Well, they did reforest half of their country in just over a few decades, and this year they used 100% renewable energy for 70 five days, yet it placed 54th on the EPI listing. Its downfall seems to be its treatment, or lack thereof, of wastewater. According to a UN report, just 3% of the country's urban sewage was treated before being released back into the water. But all of this data is from 2014, so maybe when the index is updated in 2016, things might look a little different. Fortunately, Toyota is pitching in to help us become a greener nation. The new Toyota Mirai is looking to the future with sustainability in mind, fueled by hydrogen and leaving zero emissions behind. Special thanks to our viewers, Wesley Vanderberg, Jean-Francois Prince, and Michael Gutierrez, and a few others who asked this question in the comments. If you want to know more about the environment, Trace tells us the truth about biodegradable plastics in this video down here. Do you have any other science questions you'd like us to tackle? Ask down below. We might just answer in a future episode. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and as always, thanks so much for watching D News.